Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil and TireRack.com. I'm here at the beautiful Biltmore Estate. 14 teams of two are going to be competing on 4,000 acres here, close to the public. We don't know a whole lot about this competition, but organizers handed me this bag. It has a GPS in it, a Garmin, there's food, I have bug spray here, and work gloves. So no pressure, not really sure what I've gotten myself into, but I'm excited about the competition. Please wish me luck. First task, find a Land Rover Trophy Edition Defender. Not as easy as you would think. And truth be told, I have never driven any Defender, classic or new, before, and never participated in a competition like this. Plus, with only a week's notice, there was no time to train. The deep mud and wet leaves didn't help. It was chilly, but humid, refreshing, yet exhausting. And the bugs were out. We're gonna, we're gonna... The night before, my partner, freelance journalist Andrew Gantz and I made this flag. We decided to call our team number 11, Journal Lost. After all, one of our worst fears was getting lost. And did someone say bear? <laughs> After getting a little turned around, we found our way and our defender. Getting into the driver's seat and cranking the AC felt like heaven. Turns out I'll be spending about six hours behind the wheel out in the wilderness competing in this navigational and endurance competition, AKA getting way out of my comfort zone. We're awarded points for our ability to complete special tasks accurately and quickly racing the clock. The highest score wins. As I found out, there were a lot of off-road challenges which I really liked. Product knowledge tasks, physical challenges, and more. All right, I just pulled up at our fourth challenge and this one is not gonna be easy at all. Um, it's gonna require a lot of muscle and a lot of strategic thinking, but I think we can do it. We can do it. Gotta think good thoughts. It would be helpful if Pat Goss was here. We have to channel our inner Pat Goss for those tips to get us through this one. I've never used a hijack before. Not many people have. Thankfully, an instructor was there to give us pointers. We used muscles we didn't know we had. And my partner was a huge help. In the end, we learned something and didn't lose a limb. Some tasks were definitely more difficult than others. And we were competing against two-time Olympic gold skier, Ted Ligety, and former pro volleyball player, Gabby Reese. No pressure. I've never done this before. My partner's guiding me. I'm steering. I'm in neutral. It's gently pulling us up the hill. It's really cool to be able to, to drive the Defender in a way that you'd like never drive your own car, you know, getting up on two wheels at times and going down some steep, really bumpy, gnarly stuff, stuff that you would never really do on your normal day to day. So that was really fun and surprisingly challenging. We got ourselves into some tough driving situations, but as the hours passed, my confidence grew. Owners told me they felt the same way. It was just very rewarding being able to use the technology within the vehicles and, and see everything be utilized as it should be, instead of just uh, as something to look at. Once the clock stopped, it felt fantastic to unlace my boots, already sensing my muscles were mad at me. And how was I as a partner? Use. <laughs> <laughs> As a partner, you were awesome. You were you had a really positive spirit. You were eager to do everything. You were adventurous. You were out there pushing yourself beyond your comfort level, which I think is what this event is kind of designed to do. At the end of the day, points were tallied. My partner and I didn't do half bad. We won second place in the qualifier round for our wave. But when it's all said and done, it's not about who wins or loses, but about the adventure and all the great Land Rover memories that will last me forever.